Yeah, she's over there. We got first. 950, Big 550 KTRS. The board meeting is in session. Don't forget about the uh, pet, the Perina Pet Parade this weekend. Also, don't forget about the woodworking show in Collinsville today, Saturday, and Sunday. That's where you'll find me with my safety goggles on. Uh, Ed Martin, Jane Duker, Chad Garrison. Chad, what's your parting shot? Um, I want to talk about today. Um, the news came out that there was a there's a guy that we've written quite a bit about in the RFT. Uh, broke the story last year. He's a he's a guy who was um, convicted of a uh, armed robbery 13 years ago. Um, there was a clerical error. The 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 uh, uh, Department of Corrections never took put him in prison, and right. then 13 you know years later. Well, anyway, so so we wrote about this. Um, eventually, they they um, said you know we're not going to make you go to prison. We're going to consider this time served. He was out. He's been making. He's been you know. A, a model citizen has as a wife has a job was in Webster Groves. He was out uh, a couple months ago. He was down in Soulard area, walking on the street. Gets picked up by the police, saying that he's a suspect in a um, a purse snatching, and the um, police <clears throat> drag him in front of the the um, victims. They identify him. Well. It was not him. Uh, just yesterday, uh, the circuit attorney's office said, you know, there, this was not him. And this and and um, this man, you know, has gone through a whole heck of a lot these last you know couple months, especially with with here he is. You know, people are saying, well, he should have probably been in prison. You know, he is a bad guy after all. And uh, this speaks to really a big problem with um, with witness. Um, IDs. I, IDs and um, the I think the circuit attorney's office now and I think the St. Louis Police Department recognize this after this uh, Joe Keevney uh, state senator has sponsored a bill that's going to, that would reform the way we rely on eyewitness IDs they are um, some 75 percent of wrongful convictions hang on uh, uh, False Air, IDs. Yeah, witness false identity. witness IDs. And and this is something that really um, the St. Louis City, I think, I hope after this is going to look into. But, I mean, this really... What's, what, what's really confusing about that is this has happened to a couple of my friends, and I've heard this story, where you get robbed, they, they catch the guy, and then five minutes later they bring the guy back to you and say, is this the guy? Right. I mean, is that the way you're supposed to do an eyewitness account? No, it is not. Well, no, defense lawyers can have a yeah. field day with that. Right. I mean, so I mean, I mean, I saw that happen firsthand on that Sunday morning when I was over in Brentwood, where the guys were uh, robbing that house. They they caught the guy and pulled him back out of the car and said to the, "Is this the guy?" And I was like, "That's not the way to do it." Right. No, yeah, I mean, what everybody you're gonna say, does. You're going to be like, like uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I think that, that uh, there has to be a focus on, I mean, the, the fallibility of live witness testimony, not just in IDs, but, you know, Michael Brown's Michael. case was a huge, yeah. you know, impact. You certainly can't trust Brian this. Williams. You just I mean, well, 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 I mean, his memory <laughs> faded oddly, didn't it? If, if, that's a great point. If you can't trust Brian Williams, well, but, you know, who can you trust? But, but you, can, you can have five people see the same set of events and have, you know, widely varying stories. And so, I mean, that's a challenge sort of with the human condition. And, and But I do think it's important because, you know, prosecutors aren't like your regular lawyers. They have a, a, a heightened duty to, to, to seek the truth. And so looking closely at the value and how you use eyewitness testimony, um, I agree that they need to do that. And I'm glad that Jennifer Joyce did it. Well, did it. And, and I also think the news media is at fault here too, because going back to Michael Brown's story, the news media picked the, the witnesses who coincided with their wish list of events. Or those are the people that went to the media. I don't, yeah. You know, I think I mean, oh, come on. I agree with uh, McGraw. I mean, come on, man. Lawrence O'Donnell should be ashamed of him. I understand, but for some Dorian of the Johnson was available. On. And some of the other people who we found out is this later your were witnesses. Shot? No, this is not my parting shot. It's just know, jumping on, on his. Okay, yeah. all right. Your parting shot, Jane Well, Duker. mine's not necessarily a parting shot, but I'm wearing red today because, you know, we want to put a focus on women's health. And oh. um, you <laughs> need Republican to get a grip. And heart health for women. Ah, yes. So, American Heart Association. 
Association. I'm wearing my red. So please, women have different symptoms than men do when it comes to heart disease. And this is a, a really good time for people to become aware of their heart health. So I wanted to just say I'm supporting that today. It's interesting because our next speaker doesn't have a heart. Ed Martin, <laughs> Ed Martin ladies and gentlemen. Thank he you very much. He has red on, but Listen, not because he has a that's heart. That's because of, I want to support whatever Jane says. Uh, you smart, know, that's the smartest thing you've ever said. <laughs> McGraw, tomorrow is my uh, daughter Helen's third birthday. Okay. And uh, besides celebrating her birthday and our other three children, I am struck by a recent article about how important it is to read with your kids. And I know that the other two panelists, I know you're still hoping to have a repeat date with the same woman, but yes. the other ones have children and know that the great <laughs> it's a challenge to find time to read with your kids, but it's a great gift in my life, and we love to read with the kids. And a tie-in to my uh, work at Eagle Forum, Phyllis Schlafly wrote a great book 50 years ago that is a first reader for how to teach your kids to read and read with them. And it's a, But I just think it's a great gift. I'm very grateful today thinking about my daughter's birthday and how much we do and how wonderful my kids are. But read with your kids. It's very important. All right. How many kids do you have? Uh, four. Four. Uh, who's the who's the echo this time? Who's not the choice? Who's the echo? Is it Bush? Is Bush the it's, choice? No, Bush, Bush is the echo. Wait, am I still chairman of the party? Bush is Bush is an echo. Bush still. is the I echo. Bush okay. is an echo. So. All right, good. All right, interesting. Uh, here's my parting shot, and that is, um, ask anybody under the age of 35 years old, and they think you mean me. They think Bruce. <laughs> they think Bruce Jenner is the quirky, weird dad oh, on yeah. Keeping Up with the Kardashians. They have no the, idea. The Washington Post had a great article uh, this week that I shared on Facebook, actually. It was about, like, the forgotten history yeah. of Bruce Jenner. And, yeah, I, I remember when he Bison was... Bison Tennis Olympics? I mean, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. He was oh, the goodness. world's greatest athlete. Right. Yeah. He was Tom Brady. He was For on... the birthday of America. He was I like mean, a $6 million man. He was that guy, right? He could do everything. He, he was, was like, famous. He that was the... the he, he was the record. He won the Olympics gold medal in the decathlon and got more points. It was a world record number of mm -hmm. points he got at the time. Imagine if he had been a woman then, how many medals he would have had. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> the point, the point I'm making okay. is that he was on Wheaties boxes. He was yeah. the toast oh. of America. I had some Bruce Absolutely. Jenner shorts. That oh, okay. I would not. Uh, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were Bruce okay. Jenner okay. brand. You have them okay. now. You have them now. Wait, that you bought is, them now. Chad Garrison never, wears Bruce ever Jenner forget pants. That. That I've, is an image. I've said a lot of things. I would never admit that to that. Is spectacular. Were. Well, I mean, he was. I mean, he, he was. was. He was a, a marketing god. I mean, he no. was. He was Michael on everything. He was Michael yeah. Jordan yeah, yeah, before yeah. Michael was Jordan. And now he's going to become a woman. Which is fine. We're out of time. Have a great weekend. So long, everybody. Yeah, no.